I'm in a relationship. I enjoy it. But there's some problems. First of all, the nicknames. Hi, baby. Let's go to Safeway. No, I'm broke. <laughs> First and 15th, it's the 23rd. This week I'm joined by Patrick Higgins. What do you have to bring to us this week? Patrick? Hey, I have a clip from Eddie Murphy from his stand up social Raw. Uh, the topic is gay people for the most part. And he has a very un PC approach. <laughs> and I think that now, if this, if you were to do this act now, yeah. done. <laughs> Get some rules. I got some rules when I throw down. When I do my stand-up, I got rules and shit. Straight up. Faggots aren't allowed to look at my ass while I'm on stage. I like that he, he intros with, I got some rules. I mean, that's something people say at the start yeah. of something. Yeah, no, heckling yeah. is one. Uh, you know, d d silence for cell phones. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know, also, you know, I always like to say, Faggots don't look at my ass. <laughs> we all forgot, you know, this is an important rule that I think it's overlooked. We gotta bring him back. Yeah. That's why I keep moving while I'm up here. So if you don't know where the faggot section is, you gotta keep moving. So if they do see it, it's quick and you switch it. That in itself is offensive, just like all gay people want his ass. And the, the audience is just... Love you. They love it. Yeah, because it's offensive. It's to a group of people that aren't really represented at this time. Right. So yeah, they don't have any cares about it. They don't get no long stare at your shit. So I have imagination flowing on my, about my... I know what you're looking at too, because my ass get hot. He totally brings attention to his butt. By, yeah. By yeah. Starting he, his... He shows. wants... He wants gay people with his butt, I feel like. I mean, look at those pants. Too. I'm afraid of gay people. Petrified. I have nightmares about gay people. I have this nightmare that I go to Hollywood and find out that Mr. T is a faggot. <laughs> really, and he'd be walking up to people going, Hey boy! Hey boy! You look mighty cute in them jeans! <laughs> now come on over here and fuck me up the ass. I'm gonna bend over now. Mm. Ah. Hey, boy, slow down. You gonna mess around and come too fast. Then you get mad, I'll clench up my butt cheeks and rip your dick off. <laughs> you know, you know, you know who'd be a funny faggot? Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton. Wouldn't they be funny faggots? If Ralph Cramden leaned out the window they, one day and said, Norton! Norton Powell, come on down, I want to show you something! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey there, Alfie boy, what do you say there, pal of mine? You know, Norton, I've been watching you. <laughs> and I know you've been watching me, Norton. You watch me. I know. So, uh, Ralph, where are you getting at? Norton, my friend, how would you like to fuck me up the ass? He proposes it like it's like a car salesman. Like, how would you like to drive away in a brand new Honda? How would you like to fuck me in it? Like, I feel like uh, I'm not gay, but if a man approached me like that, I'd feel like there was going to be something great involved with it. I know you want to fuck me, Norton. And you know that I know that you know that I know that you want to fuck me. Now I'm going to bend over. And when I do, start fucking. Here I go. Hamana, 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 hamana. Way to go there, Alfie boy. I kid the homosexuals a lot because they homosexuals. I, I fuck with everybody. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> It's like, um, I don't mean anything by it. You can hang out with a gay person. You can, guys, don't feel, you know, like, alienate gay people because they're gay, because you can play tennis with a gay person. Really, just after the game, you say, I'm going to get a beer, what you going to do? Think I'll go suck somebody's dick. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> you just suck that dick, I'm going to have the beer.
Ladies are hip to it too. Ladies be hanging out with gay people. Ladies be saying, gay men are the best friends to have. Because they don't want anything from you, you don't want anything from them. You can just hang out and you can be with them. It's fun. You can talk to them and all that bullshit and they be hanging out with them. You know what's real scary about that? That new age shit. Very a lot, you know, a lot of people didn't know much about it. So. That's true. There, so you can give them a pass. You can, there. yeah. There he gets a pass, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. In case you want to know later, pass. AIDS is scary because it kills motherfuckers' AIDS. <laughs> I didn't like the good old days when venereal disease was simple. In the good old days, you get gonorrhea, your dick hurt, go get a shot, clear it right up. <laughs> then they came out with herpes, you keep that shit forever like luggage. Now they got AIDS, that just kills motherfuckers. I say, what's next? I guess you just put your dick in and explode. <laughs> kills people! It petrifies me because girls be hanging out with them. And one night they could be in the club having fun with their gay friend and give him a little kiss and go home with their AIDS on their lips. <laughs> get home with their husband and like five years later, Mr. Johnson, you have AIDS. He goes, AIDS? But I'm not a homosexual. Sure, you're not a homosexual. <laughs> it's fun in retrospect to see this because mm -hmm. uh, Eddie Murphy got caught with, with a, a transsexual with a, hooker. And, yeah. Giving her a ride. No. Right of her life, oh. right? His penis. There's a lot of rumors about Eddie Murphy being gay. Yeah. And it kind of fits in. Like, if you talk about being gay so much, you're probably gay. Right. You know, like uh, like the, guy, the biggest homophobes are, are like yeah. positive gays. Yeah, they suck the most dicks in their mouth at once, like twelve. It's like, it's like hey, yeah. check out what my butt could do. I was in the middle of a college class, a film class. Mm -hmm. And there was something about AIDS being talked about, and I was like, well, uh, you know what God says when you get AIDS? And God does give you AIDS. Uh, make lemonades. Just Sarah Silverman joke. Yeah, yeah. Like, huh, you guys got it? Could it just come out? And they're just uh -huh. like, that's offensive. And I'm like, well, it's just a Sarah Silverman joke. And, uh, yeah, someone's like, my cousin died of AIDS. <laughs> and I'm just, and like, I'm just, I couldn't, I couldn't. I'm just like, you, you, you can't be like, well, you fuck your cousin. I was just like, oh, I apologize. But in my heart, I'm like, that's a dick thing to say. <laughs> your cousin. Like, I fucking knew. Do you like butts? Do you, do you wear that shirt that says, come on my face? Is that Not the... Not anymore. 